What's up everyone, this is Afar. And this is Tim. Welcome back to our channel where we react and discuss the topics shared by you guys. And if you like our content, subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date and you don't miss out on our latest videos. Yeah, leave your video recommendations in the comments or on our IG. The link to our socials are down in the description below. And without further ado, let's get started on today's video. Let's go. All right, what's up everyone? This is our second part of the video that we're doing for this mini-series, uh, The Army of Satan. Uh, this video is the second part. It is titled, You Have One Devil But Five Angels. It's going to be our first time reacting to it. Let you guys know what we think about it. And if you guys like it, let us know what else you want to see. But we'll yeah. try and continue this uh, little series to try and get all the videos out for you guys. So I'm really support curious. support will be uh, very much needed for this. Let's yeah, I really enjoy it. the first part, so I'm really yeah. curious. <laughs> Ibn Abi Hatim, عنه, one of the great scholars of the hadith in his sunan, he reports that Iblis made a dua to Allah and he said, Oh Allah, you want me or you created me to have fitna, to do fitna on the children of Adam. I have no power on the children of Adam until and unless you allow me to. So, okay. quick pause. If you've seen the last video, this, that little part contradicts what I was talking about last time, remember? Because mm -hmm. it was saying that, like, the devil did this, but it was of his own choosing. But now it's saying that, like, you know, like, I cannot do it unless this is the kind of, like, something you wanted me to do, you know, type of thing? Yeah. What do you think? I'm right. <laughs> I don't know. I have to go back to the well, first We'll see one the rest of the it, video because yeah. he could just say psych at the end of this. Who knows, right? Yeah. But, right. Uh, yeah. I'm really curious me the power to cause fitna to children of Adam. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, for you is that. Then Shaitan said, oh Allah, give me more. Increase me in it. Listen to this. He said, what? Increase me in it. So Allah said, whenever a child of Adam is born, you will have another Shaitan that is also born. Jeez. Meaning for every human being that exists in this dunya, there will be another Shaitan that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows Shaitan to actually procreate. And to have more children. For every child that is born in this dunya, there is another shaitan that comes into existence as well. Then the shaitan said, Oh Allah, increase it for me. And so at that point, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, For you is the opportunity to flow in the veins of Ibn Adam, just like the flowing of blood. So Allah gave him the ability to go into our bodies, to start to wonder and, and play with our minds, to be able to so inconspicuously sound in our mind as if it is our own deep thoughts but it is actually shaitan saying he is worse than evil evil words into our mind whispering into our ears and then shaitan said even more allah give us give me even more and so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the verse <laughs> What is this verse? And oh shaitan, gather your forces, gather your armies, gather your khayl, gather your, your, your horses of fire from Jahannam, gather them all and gather your men, gather the shayateen which are the knights of the shaitan and go and create your hamla, your war upon humanity. And go and destroy them with your forces of evil. Go and attack them. And promise them everything under the heavens and the earth. And then Allah says, And whatever Allah, or whatever shaitan promises you, it's nothing but a mirage. It's nothing but a dream. It's just a facade. It's fake. It's nothing but a lie. So in this hadith it continues and it says that Adam alayhi salam heard this dua of Iblis and came to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and said, Ya Rabbi, 
You have given shaitan this much power and authority over me. So what will you give me, Ya Allah? Give me something. So Allah said, a child of yours will not be born in this dunya except that I will send two angels, not one. One shaitan, but two angels that will constantly protect him from the evil of the shaitan. That's what Allah says in the Quran. He says, What is it? Oh, no. Allah subhanahu wa says what? لَهُمْ وَعْقِبَاتُ مِنْ بَيْنِ يَدَيْهِ وَمِنْ خَلْفِهِ يَحْفَظُونَهُ مِنْ أَمْرِ اللَّهِ What is that verse? It says that for every single human being are two interchanging angels, one in the front, one in the back, that preserve him from the command of Allah. Meaning what? We have five angels at any one time. Shaitan is one enemy, but we have five at any one time. Two to write down our deeds. One on the right, one on the left. Good deeds, bad deeds. And then two more to protect us. One from the front, one from the back. And they also interchange. And then a fifth one to simply whisper into our ears, do good, do good. Say this, say that. Say subhanAllah, say alhamdulillah, say la ilaha illallah. And he is our good side. Five angels. Allahu Akbar. So Adam became happy. And so he said, oh Allah, give me more. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him, for every bad deed, I will only write one bad deed or I will remove it, meaning I will forgive it. But for every good deed, I will write 10 good deeds. So he became happy. And he said, oh Allah, give me more. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, that I promise you that my forgiveness is forever open until the soul leaves the body. Meaning, once the soul is in the body, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's forgiveness is always open. And then, because shaitan asked four times, so... <laughs> Adam alayhi sallallahu alayhi wa our father asked the fourth time, Ya Rabbi, zid, give me even more than that. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replied, Qul ya ibadi alladheena asrafu ala anfusihim, la taqnatu min rahmatillah. Meaning, do not at all despair, at all, do not have any doubt at all that Allah loves us so much, He cares for us so much, he really wants to be with us in Jannah. He did not create us to punish us at all. That's why this verse is the strongest verse ever revealed in the Quran. As was reported, some of the scholars said, which is the greatest of, of verses? They said, Ayat al-Kursi. Another one said, which is the greatest verse about Allah's, um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Qulhu Allah wa ahad Allah wasallam, right? And then they said, which is the greatest verse for happiness? That creates the greatest happiness. This is the verse of happiness. Do not at all despair of the mercy of Allah. Inna Allah yaghfiru dhunuba jami. Allah loves to forgive. And He will forgive every single sin. Your past, your future, your present, every single sin. Inna hu huwa al rahim Indeed, He is the most forgiving, the most merciful. Okay, so let's touch a little bit about the topic from that I brought up on last episode. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. What do you think now that you heard the beginning part? Like, well, it's two different. So I. It's, it's two, two different, different people. Yeah. Two different people. But then speaking. that's that's what I'm also saying is like now it's like because there's so many different people they have different messages. That's why there were some people that like thought that Shaitan was like an angel, mm -hmm. and there's some people. Okay, they say it was a jinn, but that's it's like. It gets confusing a lot because there's a lot of people and a lot of opinions yeah. going around, you know? And yeah, and, and that's based on how their interpretation of the text Well, is, the thing right? is, is, the interpretation sometimes, well, normally you would use the Quran, but now people use interpretation from the Hadith, which is like the sayings of like the Prophet or people who lived around that time. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's not even taken from the Prophet, it's just taken from other people. Yeah. that have possibly heard it from the prophet and that's when it can get problematic so for me at least I, well for everybody it should be that you should take from the original source which is the quran you know and less of an importance on the hadith because i feel like just as we are prone to making mistakes and asking forgiveness the people who wrote those hadith are also prone to making those types of mistake and maybe putting the wrong information in there possibly so that's why yeah. People should be so but, aware about what they read and question. Absolutely. you got to be object objective of every 
uh, material that you come across, right? Mm -hmm. Have an open mind to, you know, what is it, you know, so what, like, so whether, uh, you know, Satan was a jinn or, or a fallen angel, does yeah. that change the message? No, because he's evil at the end of the day. That's, right. that's the, the point of it. And people should not uh, get confused and like focus on the wrong idea of it. The main idea is that he's a bad person. Okay. Yeah, like Bad. yeah, like whether he was a jinn or a fallen angel, he defied God, right? So he did not uh, listen to God's command, yeah. right? And as a result, um, he he um, is um, on the opposite side of what God is trying to do, right? So, um, and he's trying to negatively impact our like our lives, right? Mm -hmm. And, and tempt us and and you know he's he's also you know you know the opposite to what the test is right so uh, God is testing us you know on our ability to to make the right choices um, and and what what better you know person is there to or what better uh, obstacle is there with somebody who has defy God and trying to tempt us in that in, in a different in the opposite route than Satan, right? So, so I think even though the text, you know, people interpret it differently, um, the message is still the same, right? Yeah. Um, that uh, you know, Satan is evil and he's he's trying to uh, change the way you know us making the right decisions. And then there was two more angels because Adam asked God for more protection. So then there's two other in the sky. Yeah, so in Islam, we believe that there's two angels kind of hover over your two shoulders. Mm -hmm. And on the right side, he writes your good deeds. And on the left side, he writes your bad deeds. So bad this deed. is basically taking account for everything you've ever done. Mm -hmm. And so when it is time for you um, to meet your creator, then what you have done has been recorded already. And it can be shown as proof and evidence type of thing. Not that God needs it because he knows everything. He knows everything. It's just more for you. Because in that time, everyone's going to be in a state of shock and ignorance and disbelief. That they will not accept the things that they've done, you know? Absolutely. And they'll play it out for them like a movie and be like, look at this, you know, type of thing. But, yeah. yeah. But then it also goes to say that, like, he was saying there was, there was two more angels from the front and the back. And then there was a fifth one. Yeah, who whispers in your ears to do good to do good yeah so, well some of those i didn't know but yeah overall yeah. it was a it's a great video um definitely a lot to learn from but i will still have to like do my own research and try and like get a little bit more information because nobody can ever really hear something whether the information is of good or bad like you still want to confirm that it is right so at yeah. the end people should research their own information just to make sure they're not getting something that's um, maybe incorrect information, you know? Yeah, and we like you guys to, to leave your comments yeah, on those points and uh, and then just provide us, you know, with, you know, text that we can, you know, research on, something to help us to get a better understanding of, you know, what, you know, what this video was trying to portray um, and, and, uh, so, and it'd be good to have, you know, you know, people who, who, who watch our videos to, to participate and, 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 uh, and, you know, have, uh, you know, have a conversation and, and build that dialogue so that we can both, you know, communicate with one another and, and understand together. Right. So, yeah. So if you guys like the video, we'll try and keep the series going for you guys right now. We're on part two. So next up will be part three. And if you guys like that. Hit the like button, show us love, let us know that you guys want to see it, put your comments down below. Make sure to follow us on our social media because when the next video for this comes out, we will put it on there for you guys to be notified to so make sure that you guys are staying in the loop. Yes, sir. Yeah, until next time. Until next time.